This female, 18, got pregnant, and she and her parents want me, male, 19, to step up and help her raise her baby. But I want to go into the Marine Corps. I told her, no. However, I feel bad. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, not his baby, should he help her raise the child. But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. Basically, this girl I always had a crush on got knocked up by some random loser. And now, while she's pregnant, she has been wanting me to date her. Okay, so what we have here, guys, is the classic put the nice guy with a future potential on layaway while she goes and spreads like peanut butter for the loser bad boy. Huh? What? Oh, you in the back? You didn't get the peanut butter reference? <sighs> okay, you know, smooth peanut butter, it spreads easy and smooth. Get it now? Can I continue? We good? Okay. Her parents want me to step up and be a man. Oh, please. How many times have we all heard that manipulative shaming tactic? Her parents want me to step up and be a man so they don't have to help her take care of the baby for the next 18 years and have her stay with them. She is not a piece of cake, by the way. But the thing is, I'm not the dad. She said she wants me to be her boyfriend and for me to get a job, a place for her, and me to live to help raise our kid. Are you all seeing what's happening here? Her parents are not holding her accountable for her mess, but are actively seeking to encourage her to be irresponsible, manipulative, and entitled. My brothers, do you see why when a woman says, I just want to be friends, you need to immediately say, I'm not interested in being friends, and firmly walk away and go on with your life. Because if you don't, this is the kind of E. coli that can happen. And she will genuinely expect you to white knight for her. My dad told me to tell her to go fornicate herself. High five to your dad. He's absolutely right. Tell this chick so long and thanks for all the fish. My dad told me to tell her to go fornicate herself, not to put my dreams on hold. I am so young and just a kid myself and never, ever get involved with her. He said her baby is not my responsibility and he will be heartbroken if I voluntarily take care of this burden. He fully supports me going into the core. I told her I do not want to get involved with her. Her dad told me I was not a real man. Slap to the back of the head of her dad. The only person here not being a real man is you. I and every one of my viewers can clearly see you are a failure as a father. No, kid. You are not the a-hole she and her family are. Dude, 
She knows you're going into the military, and it's obvious to me she and her family see you as a prime sucker baiter nice guy. You are her chance to get benefits, insurance, while you're away at boot, get paid for banging the baby daddy again. Count on while you're deployed, she'll have another kid by some other guy and call it yours. Go, become a Marine. Don't look back. Make smart choices and learn a usable skill while you're in for when you get out and you'll have a bright and amazing future ahead of you. Just do yourself a favor. Do not consider marriage until you're out of the military. If you find that you're going to be a lifer, then talk to a JAG officer about prenups with adultery clauses which protect your pension and other assets since spousal adultery is huge in the military. Update. I just thought I'd try out that voice. I've been able to successfully block this girl and her parents on all social media platforms and their phone numbers and home phone as well from my cell phone. I've given, I've also given a temporary, I'm sorry, I've also gotten a temporary restraining order. There's a legal process you have to go through for a real permanent one, but I'm working on it, against her and her parents. None of them are allowed to contact me by any means, including phone, email, in person, or by someone else. If they do, the sheriff will have his deputies go to their house and bring them to jail. Well, one of these stories that has a definite you go happy ending. He handled that hmm, like a ninja in a room full of bubble wrap. If you are the 73.3% of men who found value in this channel, and the 25.7% of women, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, a subscribe, and hit that bell, and share this video with at least three friends who need to learn from this channel. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, or subscribe to my Locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my new video, then click on one of these right now and watch another. Until next time.